I want to talk about something that just came to my mind. Some people tell me that when they try to change, they begin to feel a really demonic presence or when they try to listen to teachings, they begin to feel a very strong demonic presence. So when they try to listen to teachings, videos about God, music, Christian music, and things like that. So when they feel that demonic presence, what they do, they stop listening or watching those things that pertain to God. Let me say this, that is the worst thing that you can do. You see, demons don't want you to change. So what they are going to do, they are going to do this, they are going to try to intimidate you to stop you from doing what you need to do to get stronger in God. So if you feel that demonic presence when you are trying to do something of God, continue doing what you are doing. That should show you that you are on the right track. For instance, and you may think that I am crazy or whatever else, so it does not matter. Sometimes when I am teaching about something that is really going to help someone or teaching about something that someone who really needs that information, what happens to me, I feel a demonic presence as well. At times, like I said, you may think that I am crazy, but at times, I can see moving shadows, moving shadows of shapes. Sometimes it is in the form or half of a form of a person, so on and so on. I see that in this room. <laughs> and other places as well. Give me a second, please. And let me tell you this, sometimes when I pray, you see, when you are obedient to God, when you are following his rules and regulations, you have a connection with God. We know that God does not consider the prayers of the unrighteous. So if you are a persistent sinner and you don't repent, God is not going to consider your prayers. But if you are following his rules and regulations, God is going to consider your prayer. And depending upon your faith, he is either going to answer it or not, depending upon your faith unless you doubt or something like that. So what happens to me, and I am following God's rules and regulations. I am not saying that I am this best type of Christian, you know, like I am the highest whatever else. I am not saying that because I am sure that there are many more people who serve God that operate in more power than I for sure, <laughs> by far. But anyways, when I pray, certain supernatural things happens when I pray, like distractions, trying to distract me from praying, where I can see things, where I hear random noises and stuff like that, what else? Um, for instance, I was laying down and then perhaps 20 or, yeah, 20 minutes within my prayer, all of a sudden, a pillow just falls right upon my chest. Never happens. Never happens. You know, I wasn't really moving to make the pillow fall on me either. So, different type of things. 
Sometimes, you know, all throughout the day, no one really calls me, but right when I start to pray and stuff, you know, someone tries to call me or someone, some type of incident happens. Distractions. So what am I trying to say? If you feel a demonic presence, if any distractions come forth trying to get you to stop doing what you are doing, give me a second. If any distractions like that happen, pretty much ignore it. Ignore it. Even when I pray, when I have my eyes closed, not open, but closed, I begin to see certain things as well, trying to throw me off from prayer, demonic things. The more that you obey God, you have to know that demons are going to step up as well. They are not going to stay at that low level that you were in before. Once you raise, demons are going to raise as well. So if you feel that demonic presence or whatever else, keep on doing what you are doing. If you are watching a video about God and you feel that demonic presence, continue watching it. Because obviously it is something that is going to help you. Otherwise, why would that demon make its presence known. So that should tell you that you are watching the right thing, unless you are watching something about witchcraft or something evil, then you should not watch it. But too many times I hear people say when they feel a demon around, they turn off what they are watching or listening to, especially when it pertains to God, and they just tremble in fear and stuff like that. That is going to make things worse. What you should do when you feel that demonic presence, repent of your sins. God, please forgive me of all my sins. If it is possible, Name each individual sin, if you can remember it. Then, command those demons to leave. Demons, leave now. Let me tell you this. <laughs> Telling you all, all types of stories. Earlier this morning, I was praying, and um, I was really getting not... I can't say really irritated by demons, but like I was praying for myself and I was praying for other people as well. And I was really getting strong or how can I say this? I was praying pretty hard, if you know what I mean. And, you know, I was praying for these different people, you know, asking God to do this and that, binding and casting out demons and stuff like that, using my faith. And I believe I went to sleep after an hour or, or so of praying. And like I said, or what I would say in other videos, sometimes we believe that we are having dreams, but they are actually supernatural experiences, truly. So, let me see. Give me a second, please. So they are supernatural experiences. So anyways, I was in the supernatural experience. I thought that I was dreaming. 
but it was a supernatural experience. I was in this other realm and <laughs> this may sound crazy, but I saw demons everywhere. And what the demons would do, they would run up to me and I was constantly saying, demons, I bind and cast you out. Leave now, demons. Demons, I bind and cast you out. Singing things to the point where I wanted the demons to leave. And all through the supernatural experience, like demons kept on running up to me. <laughs> It was pretty freaky, to be honest with you. Like, it it was really crazy to see that. All these demons running up to me. Like, I don't know if it was one by one or groups of two. I forget. But I was just binding demons and casting them out. And once I would cast them out, they would disappear. And then another one would come or two more would come and throughout the whole experience that's what I did the whole time and now it is one thing to tell you what happened but if you was actually there it was more real than how life is now like a lot more real and while I was waking up, let me say this too. When I have these supernatural experience, it is hard, even when I wake up, it is hard for me to tell if this is real life or the supernatural experience. Sometimes they mash together as one, as if that is the best way that I can explain it. Because supernatural experiences are real. So when I wake up, I am still believing I am in that other realm, if that makes any sense to you. But I believe that I was in the spirit. And this may not make any sense to you, but just let me say this too. It is okay for you to disbelieve in what I am saying. That is fine. That is your choice. But first, what you should do is obey God, follow his rules and regulations, then begin to pray to God. Then read your Bible. Continue doing these things. And you are really going to see what I am saying is true. But if you are constantly in sin, you are hardly ever reading your Bible or praying, then you can't really say that what I am saying is not true because you have not done the things to get close to God. When you get close to God, he is going to open up so many things to you. For instance, now I am going all over the place now. <laughs> <laughs> for instance, for a month or two, I forget, maybe longer than that, I was praying for two hours a day and no, I was reading the Bible for two hours a day and I was praying for three hours a day and I kept on doing this for about two months or so, I believe. And... Oh, my Lord, so many things were happening. So many supernatural things were happening. I saw so many evil things in my dreams, supernatural experiences, like things that was that I felt that was too much for me. So many things opened up to me. Yes, I was able to see some good things and some good things came out of it, but the evil things that I saw and experienced, I did not like it at all. 
so much experienced or I experienced so much around that time frame. And um, I guess with some people, they are really curious about things like that. With me, I'm just an average guy. I don't really need to see those types of things, you know, those supernatural types of things, you know. I'm not too curious about the demonic realm, you know. But anyways, the closer you get to God, the more that he is going to open things up to you by far. And you are really going to be surprised about what he shows you. My Lord, even now, even with everything that I have experienced, the things that I experience now, it, it uh, shocks me each time. Like I get shocked each time I see a supernatural experience or anything supernatural. So I pray that this stuff makes sense. And I know that I was all over the place and everything. So <laughs> I pray that this all makes sense. God bless.